and welcome to Learn Your Bit with My Bit. I am Martine Solomon, a mother of three, a tech lover, a financial guru, and more importantly, I'm crypto keen. I'm your host for episode one, where we discuss blockchain technology with our esteemed guest and blockchain expert, Kriyan Singh. Kriyan Singh is the founder of CoinEd, the first to pioneer cryptocurrency and blockchain education in schools in Africa. Before we get into it, a quick bit on Bybit. Bybit is one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges offering traders a seamless trading experience, innovative crypto assets and cloud mining products to clients around the globe. Hi, Kriyan. Thank you so much for joining us today. No problem. Um, it's absolutely amazing having someone of your esteem with us. Um, and I believe you're a blockchain and crypto guru uh, and that's why we invited you here today to share your knowledge and to inform us and to educate us about you know cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology and all of that so with having said all of that tell me what is cryptocurrency well cryptocurrencies is an or the, the crypto industry is a very interesting industry and cryptocurrencies are digital currencies that are not under the control of any organization or political party or anything like that. It is a decentralized technology, meaning that anybody can get involved in the industry and not ask permission to get involved. That's interesting. And it's interesting for me, typically because, you know, um, you know, from the older generation folk, we've got all of these inhibiting factors for us to get involved in these types of things. Mm. And I think that's still pretty much the you know, the, the way of how things are being done out there in the, in the cryptocurrency world. And I'm so grateful that you've been able to explain it to us in a very simple way to say anyone can get involved. You don't have to be afraid. Yes, it's not regulated, but it doesn't mean it's unregulated. Yes, yeah. and that's yeah. actually a key point. Yeah. Um, it's interesting because lately there's been a lot of talk about regulation. Yeah. And I think what regulators are starting to understand on the one hand is that by over-regulating, you detriment the possibilities of this on the economy. Correct. And by under-regulating, you have a lot of scams coming about. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I mean, th there's been so many news about scams recently. So there is a middle ground. Yeah. And the funny thing is a lot of crypto evangelists will say we should not have any uh, regulation whatsoever. I tend to disagree. I think okay. there needs to be some sort of protection. Yeah, of course. And I think that'll bring a lot of comfort in terms of the entry point for people, because mm. that's definitely, you know, for me, that was a barrier to entry when I, when I got into to crypto. It okay. was definitely an emotional something that I needed to get past. But yeah, I'm, or, I'm or out of curiosity. What was the emotion? No, it's just that mindset. I, I often say I was, I consider myself to, the then Martin mm -hmm. to have been a enemy of progress, to be mm -hmm. honest with you. Um, it has to be done this way. And how can you tell me something is decentralized? Like, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. who's, get, who's in charge of my money then? So it was having to get over all of those emotions in order to get in. And I think once you educate yourself and you get into it, mm -hmm. it, you know, it, it becomes a lot easier. So Kriyan, tell us. Blockchain and distributed ledger technology. What is that? All right, well, blockchain technology is the underlying technology behind cryptocurrencies. Okay. And it's a way of storing data. Now, as opposed to what you have in your computer, which is a hard drive, yeah. and ultimately is a database at the end of the day, it is very structured, it can be edited, it can be manipulated, corrupted, deleted, etc. Blockchains are a form of storage where data is never deleted. Okay. And why this is important is because it, is, it can be used for financial applications. Yeah, okay. That is why we call it a blockchain. Yes. It is a chain of blocks and the blocks are the transactions. Fantastic. Simple to understand. I hope so. Great. It is, it is that simple <laughs> at the end of the day. It's, it's, um, I think why people are not, uh, potentially don't get involved is because of all these terms. Yeah. It's, there's a lot of jargon in this industry. 
And, and, and how do we get past that in terms of the jargon thing? Um, how, do we, how, do we, how do we bridge that gap? Because I really do believe it's important for people to understand things in its simplest form so that they can get over that fear factor. Mm. You know, so yes, it is daunting, but what would you say to, so, to the person out there? As with anything, education is key. Coined came about because we realized that education was key for yeah. this industry to grow and to thrive. And one of the driving factors actually was the amount of scams that were coming about. We started in uh, the banking sector, for example, and eventually we realized that we should move this education down to a school level because ultimately the customer base or rather the users of this technology is not you and me, Correct. right? We're, we're simply trading cryptocurrencies, yes. for example, because that is the nature of the industry right yeah. now. But think about the kids that are in school here yeah. now, in five or 10 years time, they're gonna be walking into an industry that is likely to be something like the internet, Correct. something that we use as part of our daily lives. Yeah. So again, education is key. And secondly, using the technology to benefit society. That's, those are the types of things that we think are key in this industry. Thank you for watching Cryptonauts. We have to start somewhere. We're at the base of a mountain. So just remember, it's a step-by-step -step journey to the top. Learn at your own pace and soon you'll be the one with all of the knowledge. Join us next week for episode two, hosted by Gareth Cliff, where we discuss the ideology behind cryptocurrency. By joining Bybit, traders in Africa will be able to learn more about crypto and trading, as well as partake in our discussion platforms for trading strategies. Also, Bybit run community trading contests, competitions, and other incredible activities. I'm Martine Solomon. Watch out for our next Learn Your Bit episode. And before you go, don't forget to hit subscribe.